Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Denard. I'm a shoulder specialist at Southern Oregon Orthopedics. I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts on rehab following arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. The goal of arthroscopic rotator cuff repair, of course, is to obtain healing first. We also want to avoid stiffness and we want to avoid excessive downtime to encourage fast rehabilitation. One of the things we need to think about is that healing takes time. The majority of failures of rotator cuff repair occur within the first 12 weeks. And studies show that it takes 12 weeks for the tendon to heal into the bone. Moreover, the tendon continues to remodel for about six months following a repair. And many people think that they need to move right away following a rotator cuff repair, but there's trade-offs with this. With early mobilization, we do get a quicker return to range of motion. However, some studies show that early range of motion leads to three times the re-tear rate following a rotator cuff repair. Delayed mobilization that's excessive, on the other hand, does have a chance of stiffness. So what are those risks? Well, fortunately with arthroscopic rotator cuff repair, the chance of stiffness is less than 5%. In addition, if we do have stiffness following a rotator cuff repair, this is solvable because we can go back and release adhesions if it's necessary in those few cases. On the other hand, if we don't get healing, we're gonna have a poor functional outcome in the long term. So my view is that stiffness is a complication, but that non-healing is a failure of the procedure. So the solution, I believe, to this is to have a customized rehabilitation plan. For a case of a small tear where we have excellent fixation of the tendon, we can likely have early range of motion and get healing. But if we have a larger tear, we really need to be slow so that we get healing to encourage long-term function. How do we do this? What this means is for patients with small tears, I'll have them move right away doing table slides and stick exercises out to the side after the surgery. But if somebody has a large or massive tear, then I'll delay that range of motion and not do anything other than hand, wrist, and elbow for the first six weeks. And then in both cases, we wait to strengthen until the 12-week point because it takes the tendon again 12 weeks to heal into the